and welcome back to Project Zomboid Trailer Trash. So I was just looking at our clothing and I noticed that we had a, well, more than a couple of holes in them. So when we were building our hedge maze, we got a couple of cuts from pushing through the hedges. And when we were out logging to build a wall, we, we also got uh, at least one or two cuts. Uh, so while doing that, I'm guessing, yeah, we, we probably even tore more than that holes in our clothes. So we're going to grab our thread here and see if we can fix things up. Okay, so I don't need to patch the coveralls, they're just for good looks. Okay, I like these socks. They need to be fixed. Since we're a master tailor, yeah, we can just remove the hole and it's gone. No problems at all. And we can then even patch over it. So one thing to note though, you do need to use the correct material. So these leather gloves require leather. We can't just patch the hole with cloth, not if we want to fix it properly. I think I've left the rest of our tailoring stuff downstairs uh, in one of the shelves in the garage. While we're up here, let's have a look at the generator. Okay, it's doing fine. Put that sink there, but I wasn't able to get it plumbed. Maybe the room needs to be bigger. Let's drop this gas can off and grab our tailoring supplies. I think they're over here. Damn, these trucks look good. Okay, yeah, so here I dropped the leather and denim. Uh, we'll take a little bit of that upstairs. We can repair some of our clothes and, and maybe store some of them up there. We can't actually put it on the um, clothing racks, but we can put it in a bedside cabinet. Okay, so just fixing the hole automatically makes it much better. And then we've patched it. Now it's pretty good. So gloves are the only defensive thing sort of in the base game that you, you can have for your hands. You know, you, 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 there's no, there aren't multiple layers there. Whereas obviously socks are underneath shoes underneath pants that sort of thing so you're, you're you're stacking multiple things so i'd say gloves are really important to have um, good good patched gloves and there's still a chance they'll get you killed at some point we'll get around to this hallway Okay, let's see what we've got. Some of this definitely has holes in it. Uh, why is that next section not as well protected as everything else? Is that a different level of... Um, that's leather. I doubt I was a worse tailor when I made that patch. Maybe the neck just has less um, base defense than everything else. That's uh, weird. Obviously the neck's very important. If you get a neck wound, you can bleed out very quickly. Like, literally, even just walking through trees and hedges, if your neck gets cut, you want to deal with that quickly. Okay, so gloves are not the sort of thing we really need spare ones of, but it's more just in case I ever accidentally put this pair on. Let's, uh, let's have it uh, ready to go. Okay, you can't fix bulletproof vests unless you've got some sort of mod. I mean, we've got all these clothes here as well. We don't need to work on all of them, but let's try to find whichever jeans we, we take out with us. Okay, now they're good. So, yeah, we don't we don't need to patch everything up, but we, we've got a full set of armor. It's all patched up. That's all we needed. Okay, so for today, I think I want to do a little decorating outside. Now that we've got the wall up, uh, we do have some spare stuff from our hedge maze. Uh, flowers, ornamental bushes, uh, we've got some nice bench seats, um, that sort of thing. If we want to make a really nice outside then we're going to have to probably do sigh another trip back to the country club to steal more things. Uh, for now we'll just work with what we've got. So, I mean, 
we should be we were safe before but we should be safer out here now i've run around i've checked the wall it's uh we didn't miss any sections and yes i'm going to barricade this window even though it's already barricaded on the inside just because you know it should be done sense of completion and all that I mean, if I could build brick walls, I'd just knock those sections out and put brick walls in. Um, so maybe at one point I'll, I'll fix that front door back into an actual door. Uh, but at the moment, we, we tend to leave out that side door because that's where we keep our vehicles. So we've got a couple of these nice benches and this blue canopy. Uh, it's not, the canopy is not the sort of thing I tend to look out for, so I don't know how much of it's out there. Um, yeah, but I think it'll look nice. Just the little sections of that. I'm going to have some seats under it. I'll have to look around on one of the full maps to see how much of it's out there if we want to go steal more of it. Or how reasonable it would be to steal more of it. Now I could remove all the uh, the growth on the edge of this building, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Actually, I don't know if I can... I guess I can probably fix the, the cracks in these walls that have plaster, although that would be a lot of plaster. Oh, not carrying any gardening equipment. Uh, gardening tools. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to investigate a mod to lock that door. Again, not that there's any zombies out there, but they could be. Okay, so I'm thinking a nice sitting area here. Uh, yeah, we'll replace this bush with, with our bush. Nice. Maybe we get another park bench, some more ornamental bushes down there, some flowers. That'll look good. I'm sure we had more flower beds than this. I'm gonna have to search the base again. Uh, for now, let's dump these tent kits down. I mean, with our truck, you know, we're even less likely than most people to make use of a tent. Um, since we can sleep in the back of the truck. But you know, they look nice. Probably set a fire pit here at some point, though I'll, I'll probably never light it. We have a lot of gas cans. Good thing this isn't Rimworld and they can't catch fire. So I think we've got one up by the generator. We can just leave the rest here, though. Obviously, we have a lot of empties at the moment. Um, though we did get in trouble recently for not having enough empties. And that was a pain in the butt. But yeah, we'll probably fill at least another six of these up at some point soon. So we can take it to the gas station, do it there, or we just take a car, fill the car up, bring the car back, and and. Uh, Siphon a bunch out of it. Victory cigarette. Gotta make sure I turn my flashlight off before I go to bed. I screwed that up way too many times. Six o'clock on the dot. Let's check in our solar before we do anything else today. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's good enough to turn on. That should give us a day or two of power. We can turn the generator off. Uh, we did end up making our solar fail safe, but we haven't sort of figured out how that works yet. This is off, we may as well repair it and fuel it a little. So 
normally the big thing the generator will do is keep your freezers going. Um, we don't really have a huge surplus of vegetables or meat at the moment, so that's not that big a deal for us. For us, it's the lights. Um, big base, not a lot of windows, and it gets very dark in there. But out here, it is gorgeous. Although even at night out here we do like the lights on. Yeah, I think I do need to get some more of these hedges for downstairs. We have some more flowers around here. So I've got to stop going through these hedges. Uh, we have some more flowers around here somewhere. Um, okay, we don't store anything in here. This should be just guns, and we just installed this a little while ago. Yeah, that window's still intact. That's good, I can't accidentally hurl myself through it. We don't have that mod installed. I guess there is a mod to throw yourself through glass windows like some action hero. Uh, we used to store things in the dryer. I mean, we used to store things everywhere. Uh, but we actually used the dryer to wash a bunch of our clothes recently, so that's, that's empty. We have a good collection of bath towels. This is obviously one of my primary storage areas. A lot of beige tiles. A lot of beige tiles. Um, a lot of other carpet as well. There's an extractor hood we could get rid of. But no flowers. Let's check everywhere. Um, I mean, I really don't think they're in here. We're storing rotten vegetables in the deep fryer. Just cause. Uh, again, let's check everywhere. Probably not in here. No. There's trapping 345. That'll be useful at some point. I'll probably get around to trapping soon. We're going to need a constant influx of gas, cigarettes, and light bulbs to keep this place going. Okay, our first harvest of carrots is in, so speaking about trapping, we can actually uh, get around to some of that now. We've got carrots and we've got potatoes, so we can um, power up our two different sorts of traps. The mouse traps like tomatoes and the... Um, well, the other traps, the, whether we use wire traps or box traps, they um, they want carrots, or carrots will work to catch us big, fat, juicy rabbits. We should probably get these things back in the ground while it's raining. There's a big worm collection. Definitely don't miss winter. Maybe, maybe because we're now using this solar power, which technically it, its radius is from that battery box, so that's actually maybe six tiles east of our generator, which might have just pulled that light bulb uh, out of its radius. That's something worth considering. I've considered moving that solar battery outside. It just it just seems wrong to have all those batteries sitting out uh, out in the weather. Okay, so yeah, cage traps and mouse traps, and we've got tons of wood, tons of wood outside, so we can build as many of the wooden varieties as we want. Still no flowers. Okay, so we're carrying some carrots, but we do need to go get our tomatoes, which I think are in the freezer even, because we knew we weren't going to be eating them. Yep, there we go. 
freezer. So we'll take a bunch of those and we'll actually have to uh, defrost them. Now we can just walk around with them or we can whack them in the oven and watch them so that we don't accidentally burn our house down. Great way to get yourself killed in the late game is falling off things, burning your house down, car accidents. Okay, that should do it. try to get under our weight limit. We don't need this gas can certainly. There we go. Now the mouse traps I'm pretty sure we can um we could just put in here. I don't think I think they can work inside and even in proximity to a player. Uh, but the the other ones have to be 75 tiles away. Now I was going to place out some uh, markers for that but I didn't really have anything good um, as we get to foraging we can you know, forage lots of stones and cans work okay for that or we can make posts but I think they need um, some rip sheets which we're just surprisingly short of but yeah so 75 tiles is not inside our wall um, um, and, and I don't think you can I've heard you can't forage inside inside a wall either, so we are going to have to drop these out, thinking across the road. Um, yes, he wouldn't pick it to need sheep, sheep rope, sorry, not rip sheets, sheep rope, that's, we've even less of that. And it's not like in a regular, well regular, no, shambler's game where I could just sort of hop fence, wander off for 30 seconds, kill a couple of zombies and come back. Okay, so the road is really close. So I consider digging through here. I have to lay down wooden flooring uh, to stop the trees growing back. I swear, if we get bit by something that's like right here, I'm gonna lose it. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously this is not that far and we've driven our car up this road constantly doing lots of honking. It should be clear, but I might build an extension of the wall out this way, maybe not, not not across the road, obviously that would be silly. But even here, I could see myself maybe cutting that forest back a bit or putting in a, a, a curtain wall to like, just shield us from anything in the trees. So another option is we drag one of the cars over with a, with a siren and just leave it here for like 24 hours just blaring its alarm and um, and that auto lure out anything at all that's in the area. So I'm putting some of the mouse traps here just to sort of test what I've heard that I, I think I can leave them in my base and they'll be fine. Uh, but I'll set some up here just to, just in case and we'll see if if they both bear fruit or just these ones outside. So later on, when we get more uh, produce, we'll uh, we'll build more traps. At the moment, we'll set these ones up down here. It seems perfectly reasonable to have a bunch of mouse traps in our garage. Okay, so with the wall up, yeah, trappings on the menu and uh, foraging. I would like to get those maxed out. Uh, I mean, not you know, not before we do anything else, but let's say before the next winter start. It's on our to-do list. Okay, but I'm going to leave it here. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you've made it to the end, maybe like the video, leave a nice comment. Either way, you have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.